Hey, it's Craig from the Pacific Northwest Sasquatch Research Group. And today we're up in Sasquatch Valley again. And uh, came back up to this area um, where we've had lots of different activity. There's been reports out here. And I like coming up here because some of these areas up here, you get to have some really good areas for sightings of different types of uh, footprints and whatnot. But um, because of the river, um, here's some ruby footprints, and uh, I'm just going to look around out here, see if we got any different pr prints and whatnot. Nobody's been out here. I see no human footprints anywhere, and I swear to God on that. So, it's amazing, absolutely stunning, beautiful. And here you go. I'm over here. So this is where I wanted to go from. I was way over there. There's the tripod right straight across. You might be able to see it. We're parked back in those big trees over here. So this is Darrington, Washington. Here's West. Now we're over here looking East. So I'm just gonna scout around in here with Ruby, my dog. There she is right there. Big girl, 97 pounds. Those are her footprints. I see no footprints anywhere, but I just got here too. So if I went over there and looked along the river over here, that's where the real river is. It's on the other side of this little tiny thing. There's another small river. If we keep walking this way, we would run into it. So Bigfoot aren't known for really, you know, leaving visual. From what I understand, after four years, five years of videotaping conferences and stuff they try to avoid this you know where they're walking in a creek bed down the but I mean Patty did that's how Bob Gimlin and Roger Patterson got their footage is that they were actually in an area and it was a daytime sighting everybody's all convinced that it could be nighttime I'm not so convinced I think there's a lot of daytime sightings too so you just got to get out here and look it's the only way it's going to happen and this is what I'm showing you today we got lucky it was pouring down rain when we started and I'm out here now on the middle of this river and it's compelling because really I'm out here in the middle of nowhere I mean I could yell I'm gonna yell Woo! I mean it's drowned it out by this little bit of water we got coming down this stream right here but you know look at the results I'm on this giant sandbar right here well, if there is tracks out here, I'm gonna find them. You know, and I'm just gonna look around for a little while. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time doing this. I'm keeping my eyes and ears open as I'm scouring around as well. A Bigfoot could be over here, could be over there, could be there, there, there. <laughs> they could be anywhere. Hide and seek, right? Well, you know, more power to them because that's, that's just the name of the game. Okay, here we go. I think I might have something over here. No. So this is interesting. These type of marks here are just big rock spots, you know. I mean, that kind of does look like a three-pronged Bigfoot right here. I mean, this is what it looks like, you know. Here's another three-pronged type look. But I think it's just rocks kind of sifting down, you know, when water's in here. I mean, it could have been a Bigfoot. I mean, if I wanted to, I could go like this, you know, and draw his heel right there and that's what about this one right here there's a little one so you got a big one and a little one but that's not that's not a big foot footprint I'm just looking and I'm seeing stuff like that when I'm out here here's some of Ruby's footprints again as you can see those but now here's the river remember that little tiny one I crossed well here's the big boy this is the Seattle River as you can see over there if you fall in there, you're going downstream for a good long ride. And I'm not gonna go over that way. I have no interest of going over there. It's gonna be loud, you'll be a hard time to hear me talking as I'm scouring this big giant sandbar where I got to. So imagine, left over here, that way. That's where I crossed. Here's the river, the Seattle actual river, and I'm in the middle of it because there's water on that side and water on this side, and so really, when it's at flood stage right here, you can see 
this is a really good area because water is actually coming up into here and then it dries out and this is what causes all this beautiful green moss right here. Look at it, this is absolutely stunning. I mean, you, you should be able to take your tent, come down here and spend the night right here in the middle of the river and probably have some action. If there was some Bigfoot footprints here, I would be doing that right away. What you got, girl? You keep finding, looking for them prints. So I'm looking around as I'm walking around here. I'm looking for prints, looking for any type of details of any type of impressions or, you know, anything at all. This is what you got to do. You just got to get out here and you got to look. And if you don't, you know, you'll never know. I mean, you, you're going to do sit in a chair and wait for them to come to you. You could do it that way. That's a, that might be the long process way of doing it, but I'm actually going to get out here and do a little bit of scouting around. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this kind of scouting. And it's, it's better because you can see when I step in the, I'm a 200 pound guy. I have 11 foot, my feet are, that's 11 foot shoe right there. That's my measurement for my shoe. Um, I'm 200 pounds. So you're gonna see footprints like that from a human. Now, when we do see a Bigfoot footprint, when I show you a real one, Look at this giant tree. So it looks like this tree went across the river here at one point in time. There's another one right up there that sometimes these trees do that and you can get over to that side. One of these days I'll probably do that. When I do a three-day camper I'll bring a kayak and maybe somebody could go with me because I like hiking with somebody. Today was really just about getting out and talking to you about my GoFundMe page you know, and my Facebook page from Pacific Northwest Sasquatch Research Group. You know, I really, I really am an active researcher. And uh, I do like coming out doing this with my dog, it's great. I know Nathan Rio in Utah, he does it and it's great. I, you know, I'm a little bit inspired by him too as well because he takes his dogs and people say, don't take your dogs. Well, you know, Bob Gimlin took his horses and they saw a Sasquatch probably more more than likely that a horse will help you you know you can cover more ground that way but I think I'm just gonna go up this side of the river and then on the way back down I'll go on the other side I'm just gonna walk up here to where these giant trees are right up there thought I saw something up here and uh, that's the Seattle River there's Ruby we're on the middle of this giant sandbar with all these trees and rocks as you can see and this goes for hundreds of yards I'm not kidding you about that because we were way down there and we're all the way up here now so I've been covering quite a bit of ground just to show you what it's like what it's going to be like you know here I can even run a little bit I'll do the less Stroud I'm coming baby I hope to go out with less someday that's my goal is to get out with some of these other really high profile hikers and extraordinary survivalists. I mean, he's kind of my, one of my big time favorites, Les Stroud, and there's a, there's a couple other guys um, I'd like to get out with too. Um, I definitely want to try and get out with Shane, David Ellis, and Derek Randalls from the Olympic Project. I think they could really show me some really cool researching techniques and how they're going about it going getting into some of their favorite areas looking for prints and finding those hot spot areas wow this is cool it's actually starting to warm up too um we got blessed by the beautiful weather it was totally pouring down rain today earlier and now we got this and look at the snow level it's just 2,000 feet up above us right here you know, I think we're at 400 feet. I could look that up, but I think I did when I Wikipedia Darrington. I think it was around 400 or 500, maybe six. Look at this giant tree right here. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go up this side right here. Take a look once I get up here. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Wow, wow, wow. And got a good visual of the river here that's that way and this is this way there's Ruby 
But look at that, you could uh, fish right off that right there, stand on this log and fish all day. In the summertime, the river's gonna be a little bit lower. I'm gonna go down this way over here. Let's see if I can not kill myself here. Okay, now I'm gonna go up this giant log. Hey, Ruby. So here we are at the top of this ginormous tree root, this big root ball. And they, look at these yum little bugs right here. If you're a survivalist, you could be eating some of those. Wow, look at that rock. I never saw that one before. I'm gonna go look at that. That's pretty cool. It's hard to tell what that is, right? Oh yeah, that looks petrified. Here we go, a petrified log. We just found an ancient log over here. So let me uh, show you that. Right there, that big giant rock. I'm gonna go over there somehow without falling in this river. I'm not gonna go that way. Oh, looks like I maybe got away right here. Check this out. See if I can do it. Here we go. To there. To there. 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 And ta-da! Woohoo! Wow! That is really cool. This thing's got to be a couple hundred thousand years old. This is so cool. Check this out, people. So we're in this giant river. And all this different kind of rock right here. It's a rock, but it's like a tree rock, right? It does. I'm no specialist, but... I know. That's what it looks like. Totally. I up by State of Lake, you know, the smaller pieces of uh, fossilized wood. Yeah. It looks like, just like stone. From long ways away, it does look like wood, but it's rock. Yeah. For sure. That's amazing. There is no other rock in this area like this one that we're standing on right now. I question that it's a rock, though. I, yeah. I yeah, I agree. But it sure is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a rare find here. Okay. Right there. And there's Ruby's print right there. And that's definitely not. And that's a few days old. That's got one, two, three, four, four, five. There's Ruby. There's her prints next to it, her feet aren't nearly as big as that print there. You get a good look at that, but ginormous. Um, there were some more over here, but it's hard to see now. But um, yeah, that's it for today. So, looks like we're, we're heading, heading out. Where are we going now?